بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم کوٹ آف دا ڈے اکارڈنگ ٹو پروفر محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم دا گریٹسٹ جہاز از ٹو بیٹل یور اون سول ٹو فائٹ دا ایول ود ان یور سیلف I am Dr. Hussain Mahmood, PG R Community Medicine. Today I am presenting critical appraisal on the performance of mid-upper arm circumference for identifying children and adolescents with overweight and obesity, a systematic review and meta-analysis under kind supervision of Professor Dr. Sarah Avzil. Checklist. We use Prisma checklist transparent reporting of systematic review and meta analysis this is prisma checklist we use title the performance of mid upper arm circumference for identifying children and adolescents with overweight and obesity a systematic review and meta analysis according to the checklist the title is clearly Defy, uh, identify the study as a systematic review and meta-analysis. Abstract. Object of this study aim to synthesize the existing evidence on the performance of mid-upper arm circumference in identifying children and adolescents with overweight and obesity. Syst uh, study design is systematic review and meta-analysis. Uh, the setting we search PubMed, Embase, Coop, Cochrane Library, Web of Science, Kinal, and Google Scholar databases from their inception to December 10, 2021 for relevant studies. There, are, there were no restrictions regarding the language of publication. Studies reporting measures for the diagnostic performance of my compared with the reference standard for diagnose, diagnosing overweight and obesity in children and assault, adults and age to 19 years were included. Participants are total of 54,381 children and adults and from 21 studies were re reviewed. 10 studies contributed to meta-analysis. Result in boys mock showed a poor AUC of 0.92, sensitivity of 84.4, and specificity of 86.0. When compared against BMI Z score, defines overweight and obesity. As for girls, mock showed a pool a use of 0.93 sensitivity of 86.4% specificity of 86.6%. When compared against overweight and obesity defined using BMI Z score conclusion, in comparison with BMI mark has an excellent performance to identify overweight and obesity in children and adults. <clears throat> However, no su sufficient evidence on the performance of mark compared with gold standard measures of adiposity. Future research should compare performance of mark to the golden standard measures of excess adiposity. According to checklist, the abstract provides a structured summary including objective eligibility criteria, data sources, study selection process, data item restricted synthesis, methods, result, limitation, conclusion, and keyword, but background is not given. Limitation of evidence, funding, and registrations not mentioned in abstract. Introduction. Overweight and obesity in child, childhood and adolescent is one of the greatest public health problems facing most countries in the world, which has increased dramatically in recent decades. Childhood obesity can persist into adulthood, leading to an increased risk of chronic non-communicable diseases and premature mortality, timely recognition, and early diagnosis of overweight and Obesity in young people are essential to mitigate the short 
and long-term health risks associated with excess body weight, especially fat mass. Total body fat can be accurately measured using several methods such as hydrostatic weighing, air displacement, plasmography, deuterium oxide dilution, or dual, dual, dual energy XA absorptometry, which estimate total body fat by measuring total body water and based on the absorption pattern of X-rays. However, these methods are laboratory-based, expensive, time-consuming, and not feasible for routine use. Alternatively, there are a range of arthropometric meter measurements that are simple and inexpensive options for overweight and obesity screening in child, uh, children and adolescents. The mid-upper arm circumference has been proposed as one of such alternatives to screen for overweight and obesity in children and, and adolescents. It is simple measure commonly used to screen for uh, <coughs> undernutrition in infants and chil children aged 6 to 59 months, as well as thinness and severe thinness in adolescent. The existing evidence of the usefulness of the work against the BMIZ score among children and adolescents is limited and unclear. Therefore, this systematic review and meta-analysis aim to summarize the currently available evidence on the performance of MOAC to identify children and adolescents with overweight and obesity. According to checklist, background in introduction, background and rationale was given, objective mentioned in introduction. Method. Review question. This systematic review aims to generate an evidence summary to answer the following review question. What is the diagnostic performance of MOAC assessment for diagnosing overweight and obesity in children and adolescents? A systematic search strategy and search selection. A systematic search was performed in PubMed, Embass, Scoop, Cochrane Library, Web of Science, Kinal, Database, and Reference for pre reviewed articles. To retrieve gray literature, systematic search was performed using Google Scholar. The inclusion criteria was used population. Children or adolescents aged 2 to 19 years. Index test studies that assess the diagnosis performance of MOAC as an index test to identify children and adolescents with overweight obesity. Compared to reference standards such as BMI Z score, weight to height, waist to waist circumference, skin fold thickness, dual energy, X ray absorption, air displacement, plus Polythismography, bioelectrical impedance, and hydro densitometry. Overweight and obesity observational studies, including cross sectional cohort cross case control, were included. Language studies published in any language were included. Year of publication, no restriction was made on basis of the year of publication. <coughs> <coughs> The exclusion criteria article available on, only in abstract form, letter reviews, commentaries, editorials, case series. Duplicate publication of the same study. Data session to independent reviewers, BGS and BRG have extracted the following information from included study using pilot test data collection forum. The accepted data by independent reviewer were compared and any discrepancy was resol resolved by census. When relevant information was missing from the article, we contacted the primary author, we contacted the primary author twice via email. Risk of bias and certainty of evidence assessment. Two independent reviewers BGS and BRG assess the risk of bias and applicability of the included study using quality assessment of diagnostic accuracy studies. 
the extracted data were exported to Strata SC version 16 for further processing analysis. <coughs> we have summarized the diagnostic test accuracy by creating a two by two table for each study. We have performed a graphical descriptive analysis for included studies. We have reported couple forest plot and we provide a graphical representation of studies in summary receiver operating characteristics curve. We assess the heterogeneity of diagnostic test parameters by visual inspection of the paired forest plot and SROC plot. One of the major sources of heterogeneity is diagnostic accuracy, systematic review, and meta analysis is the use of different threshold. To further investigate heterogeneity, we perform subgroup analysis for boys, girls, children, 2 to 9 year, adolescent, 10 to 19 year children, and adolescent with overweight children, and adolescent with obesity. To assess possible publication bias, we use DEEX funnel plot with DEEX. A symmetry test where p value is less than 0.05 was considered as a significant asymmetry. According to checklist, in methods specifies detailed inclusion including criteria, how studies were grouped for analysis, list all databases, site, and other sources for study identification, present full search strategies for all databases, including filter use specifies method for data collection from studies clearly and define all outcome data extracted, list other study variable extracted like participant intervention characteristics, mention if all compatible results were sought for each outcome, describe the process for assessing study risk bias, including tools used, number of reviewers and independence, specifies effect measures used to synthesize present result for each outcome, explain method to determine study eligibility for each synthesis, describe data preparation method, describe method for tabulating, displaying, and synthesizing result and rationale for choice of meta-analysis method, provide software used, describe method for exploring causes of heterogeneity and conductivity sensitivity analysis, Specified method for assessing risk of bias due to missing result. Described method for assessing stenty of evidence. Result, this is table one, table two. This is the study selection, uh, selection flow chart. This is summary. In fig three, summary of operating characteristics. In FIG4, forest plot, result section. Selection of studies, the search strategy result in a total of 3,039 references. Of these, 2,041 were duplicate, resulting in 998 articles. Other screening title and abstracts, 963 studies were excluded, 35 papers were retained from for review after full uh, text evaluation. Of these, 14 articles were excluded with reason, did not report measure of diagnostic performance, different target condition was conducted on age group outside of school, the scope of this review. Therefore, 21 studies met the inclusion criteria and were included in the systematic review. However, 10 studies in the reception information were included in the meta-analysis. Risk of bias and publication bias. The full result of the risk uh, of bias and applicability were assessed using QADES 2 is shown in supplementary material. The study design and procedure were homogeneous and almost all met all QADES 2 domains. However, it is unlikely that any time delay between conducting the index test and the reference standard would introduce bias. The 
description of the index test and reference standard was adequately reported. Evidence of the publication base was not observed by the deed test. P is equal to 0 0.71. Investigation of heterogeneity, visual inspection of paired forest plot and SROC curve revealed substantial heterogeneity. A superman rank correlation test used shown the presence of a threshold effect. Uh, 0.63, we have examined, examined the influence of covariate sex age group and weight status, we have observed that more cutoff p-value is 0 0.00, age group p-value is 0 0.00, and weight status p-value is 0 0.05, significantly contribute to the heterogeneity of the study. Strenty of the evidence assessment. We rated the strenty of the evidence of the pool studies and considered it is a uh, uh, it as moderate for the pooled measures for diagnostic accuracy. The, pay, uh, the major reason for the downgrading the strength of evidence, including the more heterogeneity observed. According to checklist, result for each census summarize the characteristics and the risk of bias of contributing studies. Present result of all statistical synthesis conducting, including summary estimate and measure of heterogeneity. Present result of all sensitivity analysis is assessing robustness of findings. Present assessment of risk of bias due to missing result for each synthesis. Present assessment of certainty of evidence for each outcome. It presents study selection results via flow diagram from record identified to studies included. <clears throat> Not describe the method for assessing strength of evidence. List studies excluded after full text screening with reason. Describe characteristic of included study in text and tables. For all outcomes, present summary statistics, effect estimation, and precision of each study in structure tables and forest plot. Not describe method for exploring cause of heterogeneity and conducting sensitivity analysis. Discussion. This meta analysis showed that when Assessing the diagnostic performance of MOAC compared with BMI defines overweight and obesity. MOAC has high sensitivity and specificity. Correctly identifying about 86.4% of children and adolescents with BMI defined overweight and obesity. The major limitation of the, this meta-analysis was the presence of marked heterogeneity. First, a diagnostic threshold bias was identified as a cause of heterogeneity in the pooled result. In this meta-analysis, there was no consistent cutoff value. To overcome this limitation, we have used a hierarchical SROC curve that account for the threshold effect. Furthermore, we have conducted a subgroup analysis to reduce heterogeneity. We calculated measure of diagnostic performance according to age group, sex, weight, status. Second, we have attempted to read the corresponding authors of article with insufficient data to be included in the meta-analysis but without success. The main strength of this study was the rigorous statistical method used to the pool data across diagnostic accuracy studies. The other strength of this study is comprehensive search strategy in several electronic database. According to the checklist, <coughs> Interprets results in context of peer evidence, discusses limitation of included studies, discusses limitation of reviewer method, it discusses implications of our practice policy and research. Other information, knowledge, we 
would like to express our deepest gratitude to our others that respond to our request for additional information and explanation. Financial support this research received no specific grant from any funding agency, commercial or no for profit sector. Conflict of interest, there is no conflict of interest. None of the other reported are conflict of interest related to the study ethics of human subject participant not applicable since this study is systematic review and meta-analysis. According to the checklist, this study provides registration detail in including register, registration number, link to protocol, notes, protocol amendments mentioned in method section, describe source of support, role of funders, declares competing interest of authors, Ethical approval is not needed. Overall, the strength of the study clearly defined such objective eligibility criteria, comprehensive such study across seven cent database without restriction, registered D selection data extraction and quality assessment done in duplicate base was assessed, limitation were mentioned, high quality standard due to standardized method and large sample size in, the, in underlying studies. Tabular and graphical representation of result adherence to PRISMA reporting guidelines, including of studies from multiple countries in multiple language. Provide first meta-analysis. There was no restriction regarding the language of publication. Provide global prevalence rate and predicted for more morbidity ensured standardized method for measurements and data collection. The limitations of the study, the major limitation of the meta-analysis was the presence of marked heterogeneity. In this meta-analysis, there was no consistent, consistent cut-off value. Predominant use of cross-sectional design limit in the ability to establish casual relationship potential for recall and self-declaration bias leading to un under or over reporting. This is our YouTube channel and thank you so much.